hello everyone welcome to today's tutorial today we'll be learning how to make the one-sided rough wood turban i already listed out the materials we'll use in making the turban so um turban is made up of two parts we have the base and we have the frame the turban base is the cap or the caffeinator or whatever it is while the frame is the design that will be on top of the turban so for this i am cutting out the frame now i am cutting out the frame first because um i have to manage my material if you look at the material very well you would see it's not that big it is what my clients were for me to work on so i have to manage it so the uh, measurement i'm cutting out the first measurement is 13 inches width by 34 inches length so the 13 inches is how wide we want it to be and the length is how long we want it to be i'm sure we all understand width and length so i am cutting that out and for the frame this frame is two steps we have the one step row food and we have the two steps Rough foot. So I am cutting out the two steps. So in cutting out the two step, one is going to be longer than the other. When you watch this video very well, you would understand what I am saying. So now I am cutting the second step, and the uh, measurement I'll be using is eleven inches width by twenty seven inches in length. So I'll measure that and cut that out. So um, this is Shala from your Shala from Beauty Empire. And you can follow us on Instagram at Shalafumi underscore Beauty Empire. You can like our page on Facebook, Shalafumi Beauty Empire. And you can also add us up on WhatsApp, 90 So I am cutting out my, my second step for the frame of this one-sided raw food sofa. <coughs> Excuse me. So the next thing we'll be cutting out will be going to our base so for the base i'll be cutting out 26 inches length by four inches width and for the base um our normal head circumference is 22 23 21 depending on how big the head is but this one i am cutting out 26 the, the reason why i am cutting out 26 for the band is because this material is not a stretchy one i don't mean it's a stretchy fabric i would have cut out 22 or 23 inches but because it is not stretchy and i'll be adding an elastic to hit an external elastic to make it to make the cap fit in very well that is why i am cutting out 26 inches so the normal head circumference of my client is 22 inches so i added four extra inches allowance for the elastic i hope you understand my explanation i added another four inches allowance for the for the elastic so after that we are cutting we'll be cutting the body of the top and the first one we cut out was the band which is the front part and this one we are cutting out is the body of the top band cap so we'll be cutting out two inches width by 23 inches in length i'll be cutting that out in seven places i'll be cutting that out in seven places so after cutting it out in seven places we'll join it together and um that is how we'll get our turban the base of this particular rough turban it is the pleated base the body of the turban of the cap is the pleated um cap so that is why we are cutting it in pieces i think being it's not a pleated cap and um it's together we won't have to cut it in pieces but this is another design on its own I want you to watch what I am doing very well. When you watch and you concentrate and you follow the steps and the procedures, you would understand what I am doing. So I am cutting out the two inches width by 23 inches length. You can see I actually cut out 23 inches length because 22 inches is for the head circumference and um, one inch, an extra one inch for the sewing allowance. And don't forget, don't forget, I actually cut out 26 inches for the band because we'll be adding an elastic to the band and the elastic will only stay in the band i hope you understand my explanation and so i'll be cutting that out in about um seven places because i want everything to be eight pieces and when i measure it from the top to the end i want the all i want the length to be about 15 inches depending on how big you want your turban cap to be anyways because there are some people that likes their turban cap big and there are some people that likes it small so it depends on what your client wants 
so i am still cutting out the the bodies of the of the turban cap um this is like an advanced class and to understand it's better just pay good attention beginners can also work that is if you follow the procedures but that is if you follow the procedures if you follow the step-by-step -step process in um in the video then you would get it it's not something i would it is something very very hazy so don't forget this is shala from beauty empire you can follow us on instagram at shala from underscore beauty empire you can add us up on WhatsApp 090-5628-6048. So I am counting all I have cut out and everything I have here is about six pieces. So I'll be cutting one extra piece. So after cutting on my fabric, the next thing we'll be doing is we'll take the band and we'll fold it into two equal parts with the right side facing, with the wrong side facing each other. So we'll fold it into two equal parts and we'll run a straight stitch, a straight sewing on it. So I fold so what i did was i folded the band the one of 26 inches by 4 inches width i folded it into two equal parts and i ran a stitch on it so after doing that i took my elastic you can see i am using the one inch elastic so i actually measured out um the two inches you know it is four inches that we we left out for for the elastic allowance so i'll measure how two inch on both sides you can see so that is what i actually did i measured it out put in my elastic i secured it with my affix pin then i sew on it to secure the elastic so i sew the elastic in between the fabric in between the band also after doing that i pulled the elastic that's what, what i am doing i pulled the elastic and i make sure it is a little bit tight so after pulling it then i secured it again So just watch what I am doing. It's not something difficult. It is very, very easy. Once you follow the step-by-step -step procedure, then she would get it. So I'll also do the same thing to the other parts of the to the other end of the of the band. So I'm measuring out some inches, putting my elastic secure it with, uh, with an half fix pin. After doing that, you can see I actually measured it to, to see if my band is still intact intact rather if the head circumference is still there so i'll secure the elastic also the elastic i'll make sure i sew in my machine so it doesn't pull out and after sewing i'll pull the elastic and stitch it so i put it a little bit make sure it is drawing then i'll sew on it again So 
so after measuring i have my 20 22 inches sorry i have about 22 and a half to 23 inches because of the sewing allowance So what what i am doing you can remember the two by 23 inches i cut earlier which i said was the body of the of the turban so this is me attaching it i am joining it together with the right side facing the right side and i am running a stitch to it so that is what i am doing here the right side facing the right side and i am running a stitch because i want i'm sewing it together i'm joining it together just watch what i am doing you would understand better So after doing that, I'll be
<laughs> so I am done joining everything together. So I have my eight pieces all joined together. So I have about um, 13 inches length because I don't want my turban cap to be all that be my client is on low cut, so I do not want the cap to be very very big and bulky. So I left it at 13. If you like, you can you can leave it at 11. If you like, you can leave it at 12, 13, 14, 15. It depends on how long, how big you want the cap to be. If you are the kind of person that makes hair that does all these um braids, you can leave it at 15, 17, but it will be a little bit big, but so your hair will fit in so after doing that i folded it into two equal parts with the right part with the right side facing each other and i measured out my head circumference which is 22 inches and i run a stitch on it so i want you to watch i want you to watch what i am doing very well when making a turban you do not run a stitch on it in the triangular in a rectangular shape sorry when you've almost gotten to the end of the turban you'll have to cover your hand just watch what i am doing you can see when i almost got to the end instead of sewing rectangularly i actually coughed my hand so that is exactly what i am doing here so after sewing i coughed my hand and i am cutting off the x6 fabric so i am turning it inside out for you to see so my turban is 10 percent ready the cap is not done, but will be. But this is it. It's not done. It is 10 to 15% ready. But let's put it aside. So we'll be taking our frame. So for the frame, this is the first one. We cut the 13 inches by 34 inches length. I'm folding it into two equal parts with the right side facing each other. And I am running a straight stitch on it. You can see what I am doing. The right side is facing each other, and I am running a straight stitch on him. It's actually cut, so I had to like we saw here for you to see. So I am running a straight stitch, a straight sewing. If you cannot sew, if you do not have a sewing machine, you can just give it to anybody to sew it for you. You can find a tailor, all these, and um, they call them a jacana shop. You can give it to them, or better still, you can get this mini machine. I guess there is a sewing machine they sell for about 9,000 naira, the small one. You can get it and use it. So, I'll be doing the same for the other 11 inches by 27 inches. So, I am doing the same thing for it. So, I, I folded the other part into two. With the right side facing each other and i sew a straight stitch so after doing that i will cut out my excess fabric because i do not want it to be bulky after turning it inside out i don't want the excess fabric that is inside i don't want it to be swollen or to be to have that bulky effects so i am cutting it out i'll cut out the excess fabric then i will turn it inside out that is i want to bring the right side i see inside i want to bring it outside so i am also doing the same for the for the other piece so after doing that the next thing i'll be doing is I'll take the edges and I'll fold it in, then I'll sew it. So watch what I am doing very well. Taking the edges, folding it in. Watch the way I folded it in. Took in some, some um, about half an inch, folded it, folded it inside, and I seal on it. That's because I want to secure the edges. So I'll do the same for all four parts. So I am closing the fabric. And when doing it, you can see the place I actually sew, I actually made sure it was in the middle. I made sure it was at the middle. So after doing that, I took my needle and thread, my already threaded needle. And that middle part where 
I see you. I, I did a running stitch. The middle part, the middle point where the line hits, you know, after sewing, I placed the midpoint, the middle part, which is the, the part that was sewn. I placed it at the middle. So that is where I am passing my needle and thread. So I'll be doing a running stitch from the beginning to the end and I'll be doing it to the two piece. So when doing it, I make sure I left about six inches. I left about six inches. I did not sew it. I did not do the running stitch to the extreme end. I left about six inches. Then I secured my thread. Then I cut it. So I'll be doing the same for the second piece, the second step of the full turban. So this is it. The sewn part is at the middle and that is where my needle and thread will pass through. Also this one, when I am doing it, I won't do it to the extreme hand. I'll leave about six inches, six or five inches. So I did not sew this one to the extreme end again. I am securing my thread. So I am back to my cap. So for this cap, this is what I will be doing. Now I am cutting off the excesses. So after cutting out my excesses, just watch what I am doing. Cutting out the excess fabric.
so this is what i am doing i folded it into two and i am picking the middle picking the middle in the sense that i am picking all those parts like the two inches where i see together i'll pass my needle and thread in i'll go to the next place where i where i see i'll pass my needle and thread so that is what i am doing watch what i am doing very well the two two inches that i cut and sew together i am passing the needle and thread i'll pass it inside yeah pull it out passes into the next one and pull it out so th that is me pulling the thread so after pulling the thread please when pull it don't make it too tight because when you make it too tight the cap will be too tight and your your client might not be able to wear it so after pulling it i am i am passing the needle and thread pack to secure it So I am securing my thread. You can see I did not make it too tight. I am securing my thread. And I'll cut it off. God, how many should I secure my thread very well? Because I don't want a situation where my clients will wear the cap and it will like lose. No, you wouldn't want that. You don't want that situation where you're trying to just call you hello my cap has loose though no you don't want that so you have to secure your your sewing you have to secure your thread i know you're making it of needle and thread and so once i am done doing that i'll go to the back part which is where we joined where we made the cap so after the after the band you will start the running stitch So you do a running stitch. So after doing my, so I am still doing my running stitch. I am running it from the, from after the band to the extreme end of the cap. So if you're familiar with how to make your turban, you should understand this. And if you do not understand, please, um, um, you have to go for a beginner's class. You have to have the basics of how to make it a band cap. You have to know the basics, rather. You have to know how to make it a band cap. So after doing my running stitch, I'll be taking the needle and thread back to secure it like i always say secure 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 yes you have to secure your sewing so you have to secure your sewing to avoid stories that touches because you wouldn't want your client to pull the cap and the next thing she would hear is but it has lose no i'm sure you don't want that so you have to secure your story your sewing so after doing that our turban cap is ready also our one-sided ruffle turban is 60 percent ready so let's 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 move we move let's move <laughs> let's move forward to attaching our raw food cap so for this turban cap you can decide to cover it if you see the the sewing is not neat enough like the inner part is not neat enough like after this video i actually added what's it called i actually covered the parts i i see because i do not i want a beautiful and a clean finishing so i covered it up with um lining 
those certain scenery materials and said they just get a material that is kind of close to this the same color as the fabric you're using and cover it up cover your sewn parts so they wouldn't know where you started from or where you ended or they would just know they are wearing a cap so after doing that i'll be attaching my frame to my base so this is what i am doing i took the two edges together and i secured it with my um my affix pin so just watch what i am doing very well when you watch what i am doing very well you would understand so after securing it the next thing i did was i took my my affix pin and i use it in holding my band to my base so because it is one-sided anywhere you want the the frame to start from because i wanted mine to start from the midpoint so i wore my wore the cap on my mannequin and i am attaching it just watch what i am doing i just put the frame the longer part the 34 inches by 13 inches it is what i am using down here and i put it on the cap and i am using my needle and thread i i mean i'm i am using my affix pin to fix it before using my needle and thread you can see so it is that part that we see the part that had the water called the sole hand that is where he's facing us that is where it's facing me. Do you understand? So I am securing. If you like, you can decide to like fold your your fabric to give it this fuller, a ruffled look. So you can decide to like fold it like um, I fold it. And the pleats, you can decide to pleat it. Yeah, I was actually looking for the right what is you can pleat it to give it this more fuller ruffled look so you can pleat it and after pleating a little just pleat one and secure it with your affix pin to your band then do the same from the from the midpoint of your cap to the back of your cap you can decide to start it from um just move like two three inches after your midpoint or before your midpoint and after doing that then you can start attaching it so when you want your when you, when you wear your cap it to start from the side like the side pattern is to start from the side instead of st starting from the middle but my client wants it to start from the middle So I am done with the affix pin and the next thing is I'll be using my needle and thread. So watch what I am doing very well. You see all the old parts, all the places my affix pin was is where I'll be putting my, I'll be sewing with my needle and thread. I'll just remove the pin, so it's with the needle and thread, remove the pin, so it's with the needle and thread. So the reason for the affix pin is because I want to have this easy sewing. So I am, I am sewing. I am sewing all those parts I use my needle and thread for. I am sewing everything. so i am still securing those pins i'll be removing the affix pin one after the other and i'll be sewing it down i'll be tacking it down so just concentrate and watch what i am doing. so i am done tacking the first one and this is the second one so the second one i am starting from the edge you can see i came right before the first one 
so and i'll be putting the second step on the first one if you could remember vividly at the beginning at the beginning of the video i said we have the frame as two steps it's a two step raw food to ban so i am attaching the second step on it so that is the second step i am putting the second raw food ruffles on the first one on it not behind it or before it i am putting it on it so i am just joining the tips together the tip of the second frame to the tip of the first frame so that is exactly what i am doing i am tacking it i am holding it down with my affix pin So I am holding it down with my affix pin. So this is what I did again. Let me explain again. I started from the front part. So the front part, I put it at the front before the first pleat. That is down on the turban base. So I took it all up on the first step or the first ruffle. So I placed the shorter ruffle. I placed it on the longer ruffle. Like I said earlier, the longer ruffle it is the base is the is like the first frame or the shorter one is the second frame so the shorter one is on the first one so just watch what i am doing very well please pay close attention to it so i am trying to make it stand don't worry about it slipping or falling off. You would secure it with your needle and thread. So I am securing it with my needle. Okay. So I am, I'll be securing it with my needle and thread. And so what i am doing now is i am attaching i already secured my um second step which is the shorter piece on the first on the longer one so i already pinned it down and what i'll be doing next is i'll be tacking like i said everywhere the affix pin is i'll be removing the affix pin and i'll be retacking on my needle and thread please when tacking make sure you tack very well and make sure you secure your tacking this and be careful when tacking be careful with the needle so tack it very well and tack neatly so don't forget this is shala from beauty empire you can add us up on instagram at shala from your underscore beauty empire on facebook Shalaf, you can like our page, Shalaf from Beauty Empire, and you can add us up on WhatsApp. 0905628604. So, what I am doing here is I am just tacking. I am removing the needle and I am tacking. Just tack any way you want to tack. But make sure you're tacking it with me. Make sure your tacking is neat. And when tacking, make sure you're using the color, the exact color of the thread so it doesn't show. So after tacking, you make sure you stand it to wear it on your base and it stand. If it doesn't stand very well, you go to the back and you tack it at the back also. Just make sure you stand and it doesn't fall off. So I am done tacking and that is the end of this tutorial. So I hope you understand. One thing with this design is it is a it is not really complex, but it is an advanced class. Once you know the basics, once you know how to make your turban cap, and once you know the one two things, the heavy is of um making turban then you'll be good you would understand better so like i told you um making turban is all about um creativity so when i was done tacking and done with everything i added my stones to hit to beautify it so you already know how to add stones just just use your you can decide to use your um what's it called your glue gun or you a glue or your fabric or your fabric glue it depends on whichever glue you want to work whatever that works for you that is the back that is a close view 
and this is the front view so just follow the procedure the procedures thank you